damn it. Can you guys hear me? Let me see. Hello, can you guys hear me? Am I on? <laughs> Gosh, I can't believe it. I don't know if I if you guys can hear me or not. Yeah, can you hear me? Can you see me? <laughs> oh my gosh, that's the worst I've ever had. 20 minutes, I can't believe it. And I have to, my chat is like, I don't know what's wrong with my chat, so. <laughs> uh, yes, okay, good. <laughs> All right, I pushed, pushed the recording. Uh, I could tell this is going to be a, a terrible, <laughs> terrible night. Oh, I have to do one more thing. Just hold on. I have to see. Like, my chat is not, not right. It, like, disappears. Why is it disappearing? Hold on. Maybe it could do this. Why is I have two chats now? What the? It is going on. <laughs> they are beta testing the chat. Is that what it is? Oh, my gosh. It's weird. Sure, if you can stay uploading and tag it. Okay. I did. I popped out the chat now, but now I have like two chats. So hold on a second. I got to get rid of one of these, I think. All right. Let me get rid of this. Let me just see. Can I go on here? No. It's like a new chat or something. It's, I don't know. It's weird. Um, there, but it says, okay, new chat. Okay. Yeah, the new chat, I don't get it at all. It's like totally different. Um, baby test. All right. Um, I guess I'm just gonna leave them both up here because I really don't know which one to delete and which one to leave. So we'll see what happens. Oh my gosh! How are you guys tonight? <laughs> oh, let's see. This is like weird. It's weird for me. Like, not only is it weird, but I changed my whole room so where i was scrapping i mean where i was streaming from where the flowers were in back of me now i'm on i'm on the opposite side of the room and my computer used to be on my right and now my computer's on my left so oh my gosh it's terrible <laughs> yeah i don't adjust to change very well <laughs> and to top it off it's like i've been working on something so i'm not even really prepared for this class and so this even makes it worse <laughs> So let's see, what should I show you first? I have a couple things to show you, and then we will definitely going to have to do probably part of this in next week's class too. We're never going to finish since we're so late. Yes, thank you, Judy. Yes, finally. <laughs> Judy and I have been going back and forth. We've been trying to email each other, and finally we got it all settled today. So <laughs> the chat is weird tonight. Is it weird for you guys too? It is really weird and it's like the print is like so much smaller too now it's like like I never had to split my screen before and now I have to split the screen and it's just it's just really weird <laughs> well it must be like our our uh, theme tonight Halloween so it's just weird <laughs> But um, I did change my room around like I was telling you. So now next to my left here, I have kind of like my die cutting system. And um, so what I did was I took um, an old frame that I had and I took, um, let me show you. I took this. Yeah, it's a smaller one, even on the pop out. Yeah, because I do too. I have the chat popped out and it's small. So it'll be hard to read tonight, I think. So I had an old frame, and what I did was I put these um, vent covers on here, and, and I added my um, my dies on here. Oh, I might have to move you guys out a little. I think I'm too close. Hold on. Your chat is bigger on your netbook. That's good. It's really small. I, I can't believe how small it is, because I usually have no problem um, reading the chat. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, where's my camera now? There it is. <laughs> uh. All right. Bring you in and in. There we go. Hi, Tar. <laughs> if 
finally I got in, yes. So this is what I did. Let me move this over a little. Like I said, my room is like a total disaster too. So trying to find things tonight will be fun. But I took an old frame and I put those vent covers on here. And see, I put my Julie Nutting um, dolls on this frame and then all my Prima ones. Doesn't look good? So I have to do the other one. I didn't get the chance to do the other one yet. But um, it'll be so much easier now because they fall out of that package too. So. And they, it was pretty inexpensive. Um, you get three of these, these vent covers, um, and I think they were like seven dollars. So, you're up for some fun, some Halloween fun. <laughs> and then I just have it hanging on my wall. So that's the first thing. So, um, before we do the Halloween uh, frame, I have to show you what I've been working on that I didn't get a chance to finish tonight. <laughs> Yeah, it hangs on my wall. I have the, a shelf, and then underneath the shelf are these wire things, and um, it hooks on my shelf. I'll have to show you one day. Maybe next week I'm trying to get my camera fixed that I could turn it around. So I'll give you a little bit of a, a idea of what I've done in my room so far. I put all my um, steampunk stuff up on a shelf. Actually, I had to fit on two shelves. So, one for one dollar. What is that? Oh, you get the, oh really? They have them at the dollar store? I'll have to check that out so all right so now for my sneak peek did you guys go to my blog did you guess what it is what the sneak peek is let me see if anybody guesses what it was or what it is <coughs> I'll have to wait and see let me get it here oh you'll send me the video good if you could do it so I could get it done this weekend it would be great All right, I don't want to show you yet. You stick the covers on your oh, on your cabinet side. That's good. And you put your dies on it. Oh, you guys missed the blog post. All right, well, I guess I'll have to give you a sneak peek. <laughs> that clever Jim. <laughs> Didn't you love his Jack in the Box? This is going to be so cute with his Jack in the Box. Um. But now this one is um, pink because I plan on putting my daughter's baby pictures in this one. But we're going to do it for Christmas because, you know, my nephew. Oh, you're teaching. Okay. All right. Thanks, Ella. Don't worry. <clears throat> um, you know, my nephew, he loves trains. And it's so hard to find things with trains on it. So um, I'm actually, that's what I'm actually making. So let me see if I could show you exactly what it looks like. So, and this is just, it's just that it real quick, I don't have it like totally fixed up. Like I still have to put the little um, spout on here, but I'll show it to you. I don't get the email for the blog post. Oh, you don't? Okay. Wow, it's so weird. I can't get over how weird this chat is. All right, so let me show you. So, um, it goes like this. Can you see it? And this will curve down. It curves down like this, but I don't have it like that. And then this will be um, the part of the, the uh, what do you call it? The um, engine spout or whatever. I can't decide whether I want to use um, this or if I want to use, you know, the little wood dolls that look like, um, like a pot. So it's a little bit thicker. So, isn't it cute? Didn't it come out cute? And then I want to add some, where's my little flowers? Oh, uh, this is just a snowflake flower, but um, eventually I'm going to put um, probably some clear acetate here. Thank you. And then, um, like, put a, I don't know what yet. This paper line is an old paper line, and it's um, the basic gray sugared. I don't know if you guys remember it. Oh, thank you, Mitz. Um, so I plan on putting flowers on the wheels, and then... Um, decorating um like this and i didn't do the top yet either so what i plan on doing is having the top oh did i bring my paper up here so i plan on having this pull off and then when you pull this off this will be wide enough to put tags so it'll be a tiny little tag mini to fit in here <laughs> and um so that'll be one part of the train so it'll go like that 
like that and then behind it which I thought I brought my paper up here to show you now I'm gonna have to draw it all over again so that's that part with it have this the um, that and then like I said I'll have flowers and stuff on the wheels and then I'm looking for a paper um, I, need, I don't know what I do with my little book all right so let me see if I can show you exactly what I mean <laughs> so this is the train here it's got the little spout out and the big wheels so then um, you know the cartographer book that I did a couple weeks ago for my daughter's girlfriend's boyfriend that's what's going to be it's going to be the, a little box with wheels I'm actually going to do two so it'll actually have the tag mini and then two minis so one will be just straight like this it'll look like a present and they're both going to kind of look like presents and this one's going to have like a little bit of an angle here so it'll look like it'll look like that and then you could keep adding from year to year um, eventually I'm going to do a caboose too um, <laughs> thank you oh, Dar she says I slay her with her talent with my talent so um so this will be like a five by seven mini and this will be like a six by six so it'll be short and then like if you have two kids or three kids you could add keep adding them as long as you want but then eventually then we'll do the um caboose that will come in here you know like this and have windows blah 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 whatever but um so i plan on doing next week we'll probably have to finish up this frame album since we started so late and then we will start the Halloween and hopefully finish that like the first week of October, the Halloween mini. <laughs> and then um, then we'll start the tree. I have to work on that. We'll do the tree with the banner and the mini and then hopefully finish that by Thanksgiving. And then hopefully finish this the first two weeks in December. So we have a lot to do. We might have to go a little bit longer or throw one or two extra classes in there. But... Um, <laughs> but it's yeah so it looks just like that isn't it cute oh my gosh I love the way it is it would be cute for a baby's room I thought too like if you did their you know baby's first year and then you know party or whatever you want and you could add as many books as you want but yeah I really like it oh. and then this part if you saw it on my blog this part was just uh, um this part of the water bottle I just cut this in half here and then I use this part. I, this just peels right off. And then you just use that for the engine part. So. Um, so yeah. So that's. I really like the way it came out. And so that's what I've been doing the last three days. So that's why I really didn't get much done on our project tonight. But. Um, uh, <laughs> Dar always says. Can I have it? <laughs> she always asks right away. You guys got to be faster than her. <laughs> All right. Anything else I had to show you guys tonight? I don't think so. I think that was it. I did go to the expo on Friday, and I did pick up some things, but um, who knows where that box is now to show you. So once I get the room cleared out more this week again, I will do it. Your chap keep going to the top and hiding all the current. Yes. What you have to do is you're going to have to pop out the chat, Mama. Um, that's what I had to do, too. That's the only way it stays at the bottom. So if you're having trouble with your chat flying up to the top you have to pop it out uh, you'll see there's two little boxes I think at the top well for me there's two little black boxes and then I just hit the pop out one the one that looks like double windows and then you pop it out and then you should be good it's just like oh my gosh I'm just not used to it like I said I'm not used to having the my computer on my left and then I'm not used to seeing the chat the way it is it is I wonder how long they're going to keep doing this because it's terrible. <laughs> Alright, so let me get, um, where is it? What we're going to be doing tonight is we're going to do the birthday. Here it is. And the beta streaming. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's terrible. Um. So what we're going to do is we're going to do this frame, but we're going to create our own frame and then make our own little mini album and then decorate it in here with the um, with the, the witch, which I have over there. We're going to use the little, um, oh, where is she? Ah. 
We are going to use this. Oh, there's my little note. <laughs> So there you can see, like his name is Mark, my nephew. So I planned on doing like four. I don't know if I'll do four for him. And then um, the two mini albums. So one will be like a five by seven. The other one will be like a six by seven. I started without you, Sherry. <laughs> I know it was terrible. We had a hard time getting in. Yes, I'm recording. So, um, and I can show the um, choo-choo train after. So, oh, I have to say hi to, I didn't get a chance, usually I say hi to everybody coming in, but oh, what a mess today was, so, um, um, hi to everyone. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to work with this one, um, but I think eventually I'm going to put the Frankenstein, because this is going to be for my nephew, so, um, and last week, what else, I think that's it, all right, so let's get started with that, ah, just lost my little butterfly. So, let's see what I have here. I pulled out a bunch of stencils to use tonight. I did buy some little hands. And some punches. Oh, my mouth is much better. Oh my gosh, that was the other thing. Last week, oh, I was in so much pain. And then the antibiotics, they make me, um, like my stomach sick. So, um, I still wasn't feeling that good, um, like over the weekend. And then, of course, I started tearing my room apart, so that wasn't a good idea either. But, <laughs> um, yeah, it's much better now, though. Thank you for asking. Now, I don't know, Aunt Janie, why you're not modding. I guess I have no mods. I put you for a mod, but I don't know. Like, I don't even know how to allow links tonight or anything. Okay, bye, Sophie. Thanks for coming. Hi, Darcy. Hi, Linda. <laughs> All right. So. The other problem with changing my room is like I have, if I drop something, I have a smaller window now to like kind of grab it. So. <laughs> All right. So we have this. We have this. Stick that up there. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need chipboard. And I cut my chipboard already. Thank goodness. Otherwise, we'd be here really long. <laughs> what? Everyone is sick or injured. Oh, oh, no. You're sick too, Dar? Did you see, Dar? I um, tweeted you that or I emailed you or something that Ella did her challenge on Monday. So you get to um, hear her answers she didn't um, tag anybody because she doesn't really know too many people hi Amanda hi blissful all right so what I did was I cut four of these one two three four so you need um, nine by eleven the Ellen was off you saw it good <laughs> So um, it's a 9 by 11 chipboard, and you're going to cut four of them. And then I measured two inches all the way around. And then your middle piece is 5 by 7. So I, you're going to do four of those. But with the last one, oops, there's Frankie. With the last one, you're going to keep the middle. And what you're going to do is that's how you're going to open this like you would do a regular um, picture, you know, to put your picture in there. So I already went ahead and did that. And you want to leave the gap, you know, like you usually do with your binding, like an eighth inch of a gap all the way around. So, um, and then I put the hinge in here and I glued it. Um, and so then what you want to do is we're going to glue this so that you can't see it. Like that. But before we do that, we are I'm going to put a picture hook in here. I guess we should, let me see, I'm trying to think. I guess we should... We're going to glue all these three, but not this one, because we have to put, I'm going to put my picture hook in here, and probably a pull of some kind, so that you can pull that in and out. So, Frankie boy, yeah. <laughs> so let's go ahead and glue this down, and then I want to gesso it, and then I wanted to do our paper towel with a tree, because I planned on putting 
um, one of the trees hanging from here and then maybe like an owl and um, maybe a spider web with um, something hanging down so we'll see <laughs> so let's glue that and I think I need more I didn't bring my other glue so we'll see how this goes so again remember you're gonna need four of these and three of them you're gonna take the middle out so let's glue that down actually um, I probably you should probably do it with glue but for time's sake especially tonight I'm going to use um, tape and then maybe I'll glue the last page of course I'm looking for my uh, what do you call it 3 8 tape did you see it <laughs> Where? Oh, there it is. Got it. So let's just tape this. We'll start from the bottom first. So let me move this over so you could see. How is the lighting tonight? I had to move my lights, and one of them is not right, like, near here. Does it look all right? Oh, my gosh. This chat is going to drive me crazy tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I, I want liquid glue because it'll seep into here, and I want to make sure that it has a good, um, you know, they really stick together well. But um, since we don't really have time for it to do it, and I didn't bring up my other, I think my other one is downstairs. I don't know where, or I need to get some, so I'm just going to use score tape for now. The lighting's good, thank you. Yeah, one of my lights is where it's supposed to be, but the other light isn't, and so... Um, I just wasn't sure how it was tonight. Plus, I'm in a different spot than I usually am. So. <laughs> Thanks, Sherry. <laughs> so we'll put these together, then we'll give it a quick gesso, and then um, we'll do our paper towel and make our tree tonight. And then we'll see how far. I can't believe it's like quarter to nine already. Oh my gosh, that was the worst. I shut my computer off, restarted. Uh, and do I live in Milwaukee? No, I live in New Jersey. So let's um, burnish those. <laughs> Why do you say, do I sound like I, I'm from Milwaukee? <laughs> <laughs> Darn it, any word yet about Ranger? I'm waiting to hear. Oh, it was a joke? <laughs> Always, I was in a different spot. <laughs> yes, I'm in a different spot. <laughs> Before I was facing, what was I facing? South, and now I'm facing east. <laughs> if that makes any sense. <laughs> I know it is terrible when you can't get your computer to work. Plus, I'm like, I was out of sorts anyway for this class today. <laughs> you love the train? Good. I think it'll be really cool. And then for my nephew, I'm going to use the, um, the My Mind's Eye um, that has the black in it. I'm going to do his engine black and then Christmas colors the rest of the way. Nope, not yet on Ranger. Yeah, me either. I haven't heard anything. So, let's put this next one on. So, I always kind of like stand it up, and then this way you can kind of get it right. Right like that. Yes, they have a sale every year. They've been having a sale every year. And usually it's like the, I thought it was the end of September, but maybe it's the beginning of October. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's where uh, I've been like the last three years I've gone. <laughs> yeah, the chat is crazy tonight. It's like, I don't know how to, how I'm going to get you guys to be modded or anything. So hopefully, hey, 
late on? <laughs> oh my god, we were all late on. I was 20 minutes late. I couldn't get into the chat. The chat is all weird. <laughs> You'll have to see the sneak peek after. I'll show it after. So we're really late tonight getting started. <laughs> But wouldn't that be cute with the little train? You could put it either under the tree or on your mantle. And then Jim's Jack in the Box. Oh my gosh, I love that Jack in the Box. I'm going to have to do that. Hi, Gwen. <laughs> Gwen, you missed the train. My little choo-choo train. You'll have to see it at the end. You couldn't log in? I know. I was. It was telling me my password was wrong, too. It was ridiculous. And then finally, it took the right... It took it. It's just like, oh my gosh, it was terrible. And I even signed in early, and it looked like everything was fine. And then all of a sudden, it just poofed. It just went. <laughs> and I can't mod anybody. I don't know how to mod anybody tonight, so I don't know how that's going to go. Did you see how lucky Dawn was? She won the, um, was it the Petaloo, right, Dawn? That's a nice prize. That would be nice. All those flowers. You can't private chat anymore. Is that what it is? You can't private chat anymore? Really? That's terrible. wonder why they got rid of that. All right, so now we have our three thicknesses. So we're good to go. So what I'm gonna do is give this a quick gesso. I want it black. Oh, you can't. You did private chat? How is the chat different then? How do you do the private chat? Where is my other board? Yep, she was one of four. Wasn't she lucky? Oh my gosh, she got pet petaloo flowers. Alright, so let's give this a quick gesso and then um and then you can decide with the leftover pieces. If you wanted to give this like a border, I'm not gonna use it as a border, but now it's just a plain frame. So if you wanted to do this, you could. You know, you could take your extra pieces. If I was doing kind of something, I think, more like um, camping. I don't know why this reminds me of camping, but I would do camping. You could stick a metal strip in here. You could do all kinds of stuff. You could stick your straws in here, decorate with your straws. So, oh, there it goes. Chat with others. How did that happen? That's weird. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Hi, Barry. <laughs> What a mess this chat is. So you can do that now. Um, let me see. So remember how I did the straws with the birthday? Put some here. So if you did this one inch border, you could come in here with your straws, you know, and decorate it like that and keep going. If you wanted to go all the way around, you know, straws are so popular now, you can do that. Hi, Jonna. So, um, so you have a lot of options now what you would like to do with your frame. I also thought, too, if you wanted to make, um, remember when I did um, the Time Traveler one, the frame was kind of more beveled. So I thought, too, if you took your paper towels, um, the rolls, and you cut them in half. Well, let's see if I have one up here. Do I? Um, yeah. So if you cut this in half. And then that would, you could put each half on here and then put like tissue paper over it and then gesso it. So there's a lot of things you could do with this um, basic frame now. You know, however you want to do it. But I'm going to leave my frame off because I want to add the tree here. I want to add the pumpkins and stuff like that. So I'm leaving mine off. And then we need to just uh, paint this, give this a quick paint. Now there goes my chat. What happened now? Oh my gosh, this thing. There it is. Linda's here. <laughs> oh, she gave you a private chat. <laughs> All right.
No, and nobody knows when the ranger sale is. I hope they have it. I hope they don't discontinue it. So. I should use a bigger brush. Let me see if I have a bigger brush here. Yeah. I should um, use water. And then, too, I thought, too, you see how this um, bottle dents in like this? You could do the train just like that. It would give it a different um, a different shape to your train. So look at your water bottles and see, you know, if you would like that. You can use those, too. But um, I'm going to use this one to clean my brush right now. Oh, where's the sale? It's in Eatontown, Eatontown, New Jersey. That's where their um, their their uh, warehouse is. Did you see Tim? He was here, I think, last week or the week before, um, playing around with the delusion, uh, not the delusions, the uh, new stains. He did the video and stuff like that. And you can make this, if you wanted to make it bigger, you can just make this any size you want. And we're going to be covering this all up, so really just want to get it covered, pretty much. <laughs> Hitchhiking! <laughs> Sherry said she's going to hitchhike to the ranger sale. I want to make sure I get the inside here too. Yeah, last year I got a lot of the vintage um, paints there. Um, I'm trying to think what else. They used to have pop dots. They were all sold out of They said we cleaned them out of the pop dots. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else I got. I usually get the glue sticks there. Of course, the stickles I always get there. Um, and I bought a lot of glue sticks. And I can't believe I used almost all of the ones that I bought. No, the sale's not online. Mm -mm. You got booted, Dar. Oh, no. The chat's really bad tonight. I shouldn't say anything because I'll be getting booted next. <laughs> and I pay the extra money too. And I just can't believe that just put me through all that. <laughs> Still free to be here. That's right. So you can't complain too much. It'll probably take a while for them to get the kinks out. I just hope they don't keep this chat. I don't like this chat. I like the old chat better. poor people yeah well it's just like we have ranger and you guys on the west coast have prima right so they can't be everywhere <laughs> although i think i would rather have prima but i'm happy to have ranger here <laughs> we used to have um ek success too they used to be um here and they used to do a lot of warehouse sales but then they moved to um chicago i think it's chicago so they're no longer here and they used to have really good sales. You'd get to fill up a whole box of Jolie's, like a small box for like $10. Oh, it was great. And you used to get the tape from Tape Runners from EK. Where's Prima? Prima is in California. I think it's Chino, Chino, California. And they have warehouse sales there. Oh my gosh, if you go over on YouTube, you could see all the... Um, the goodies that the girls get for a dollar. <laughs> All right, 
we have one more side to do and then we want to do the back real quick and then we're going to do our tree I have that side that side one more side in the middle of the U.S.? I don't know. What do you guys have in the middle there? I'm trying to think. Well, you have Arizona. You've got Tim and Heidi lives right close together. And Carol Winger lives there in Arizona. Who else is there? I'm trying to think. There's quite a few people there. There's Basil. There's Basil Warehouse. They have a warehouse sale. So you guys have Basil and I think Scrapbook Etc. is still there. <laughs> yes, that's true. That's true, Dar. And those in Podunk. <laughs> Podunk that um, Ella thought was make-believe. <laughs> I don't know what you guys have there in Montana. Oh, you know who you used to have? Used to have, I don't know if she's around. Um, Carol, um... Carol, she used to be on HGTV. What was her name? Carol, um, who did the um, crafts. You know who I mean? Carol. God, I can't believe I can't remember what her name was. Carol. Help me out, somebody. <laughs> oh, you're in Michigan. No one there. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Lorraine. <laughs> All right. So we had that. That one's covered. I'm going to cover the back of the other one. Carol Duvall. Yes, thank you, Ella. Yep, Carol Duvall. I think she's in Montana. I used to like to watch her show, and Tim was on. I think that was one of the very first shows Tim was on. And this one we're going to have to do the inside of the door, too, because when you open it, you'll see it. But I might cover it with paper. Hi, Jen! <laughs> the chat is like crazy tonight. I had a hard time getting in. Oh, it was terrible. It's still crazy. Crazy. <laughs> I don't like it either. It's the new chat. If this is going to be the new chat, really? Oh, I hope not. Oh. It's like, how do you mod anybody? We're just giving this a quick coat and then we're going to make our tree from paper towels so we can put that on the front of our our cover and then on um, for the pages I'm going to use um, Echo Parks arsenic and lace and then we'll put uh, the Julie netting doll on here too Sure, get the inside. Yeah, you have to pop out the chat, Jonna. That's what I did too. It's the only way it won't um, keep scrolling to the uh, top. you get a server ever you should try yeah try it again in a few minutes Eileen says if you get a server error try again in a few minutes that's what I kept getting all the time for like 15 minutes trying to get in it was terrible I think that's the longest I've ever took me to get into the into here 20 minutes oh you can't see I'm just painting this I really wanted to have this all painted already so we would have had this done, but I had to work on the train. 
I just was dying to work on it and I wanted to get it done so all right we'll just have to do the inside and then we'll be ready to go Inside of here. Chrome allows you to pop out. Yeah. I that's one I use all the time. I use um Google Chrome. just do the inside now and that will be good just want to do the inside of this you don't do you don't have to do the inside of that because that's just going to get glued down mm. <laughs> you Dar says she loves the train I love the train too like I said, I'm doing that one for my daughter because, um, of course, she's never going to want all those pictures that I have. So I figure I'll pick the best ones that I really like and um, she'll keep that. And then I want to make one for my nephew for Christmas because he loves trains. And wouldn't it be fun to do one like a zoo with zoo animals out of that? That would be nice. And the nice thing is you could keep adding and adding on the train. <laughs> uh oh she, what's the thumbs down for Jonna the chat <laughs> just got thumbs down alright so now we can put that away and we can put that away so now let me just clean this up and then we will do our yeah, you know, she's really not into scrapbooking, my daughter, so um, she's like, what am I going to do with all these pictures, thousands of pictures? So I'm just going to pick the ones that I really like, and then this way I can do, I don't know, I did used to do like big elaborate birthdays for her, like when she was like one to like about four, I guess. So I'll probably do that. All right, let me get my wipes and then a paper towel. We're going to be spraying on here anyway, so it's probably just as well if we leave some of this black on here, and it'll get on our tree too, so that's what we'll do. And my ne little nephew, he loves skeletons too, Dar, so I got this at um, Joanne's today. Isn't it cute? So I'll put that on the frame probably. <laughs> you never heard of, what, what haven't you ever heard of? Corvallis, Corvallis, is Sherry getting a Dar R.A.K. maybe, <laughs> I wish she made a ton of Halloween um, racks, so pretty soon Dar I'll have my room cleaned up, I think I'll be able to actually fit three people in here, it's a small room, but I found things like, uh, I was like, when did I ever have that, and why come I never used it? <laughs> okay, so, I'm going to do, we'll do just one paper towel, should do it. So, I don't use my good sprays for this, I kind of use um, sprays that I kind of want to get rid of. So, where are my sprays? Uh oh, battery's dying. Hold on. Gotta plug you guys in. Where is it? 
There we go. <laughs> Got ya. Oh, he's, your son is cooking with some garlic. I love garlic. All right, so I have this brown. This is espresso. I have some butterscotch. I need to get some black. Let me get that. So I just grab anything, anything that's brown, black, green. Oh, Jana, so what is she doing? She said she's doing, oh, it's censored. I can't uncensor it. I don't know how to do it. Um, I can't allow links. Free organizing classes in 27 weeks, 27 challenge. Oh, I have to take that. I'm redoing my room, Jana, and it's a mess right now. So, all right, so let's scrape this on here. What'd she say? A wall, take it down, replace the lining change and the ceiling painted. Oh, in her craft room. Oh, and she's got her zippy um, done too, right, Jonna? Are you decorating that too? So we got some brown. And this one is um, olive vine. I don't want to use my good Prima sprays that I just got. So there's some green. And then some beetle black. course this one doesn't work ah oh this one's not working oh let's see if I have another I want something orangey I'm just going to switch this out with this and see what happens with this sprayer I know I probably shouldn't do it but see what happens so that looks pretty good for our tree so then we need to dry this So let's get the heat gun. I gotta plug that in. So pretty much this is just what you want. You just want to get it all nice and dark and brown, you know, like a tree would be. And this kind of a spooky old tree we want to make it. So look for my heat gun. The nice thing about this room now is on this side of the room the plugs are in the middle of the wall so I don't have to bend down which is nice. <laughs> Oops. You want to make sure it's really dry. <laughs> 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 
now what is Dara asking? She's asking Jonna. She says, don't forget I asked first. What is she asking for? Hi, Midnight. Your font is big. I can't see my font so tiny. How'd you get your font big? <laughs> You're, you logged in and it was big? Wow, the fonts are big? They're big for you? Really? Oh my gosh, they're so tiny for me. I can't believe it. Well, that's good for you guys. Your fonts are tiny, mine are tiny too. Yeah, the chat is awful. It's terrible. It's almost dry. It's a little bit longer. We have to make sure it's dry because when we glue it, I glue it with um, a glue stick and we want to make sure it dries. should be good. Let's see if I can get my let's see if we could what happens if we take this apart. Maybe we'll get two. So now we have two. This is kind of more greenish on this side. It looks green. And this side's more brown. I don't know if you can see some of the glimmer in there. It's pretty. The shine. Alright. So where is a picture frame? So here's our picture frame. Oh, I didn't ink that part. I'll have to put this up. So now what I want to do is... I want to set my tree over this way. So what I'm going to do is, I'm actually going to break this in. I have one of those ones that break in half. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start twisting it. So you're just going to take it and then just twist. And actually I'm going to rip this part off, all this white part here. We can use these for branches. Oh no, I lost sound. Oh, I hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> so now I'm going to take my glue stick <laughs> and just rub some glue on there. So this way it'll stick down. So I kind of want to make this kind of a spooky old tree. 
and we'll have some eyes maybe peering out of it and I want the branches to come along so I'm just kind of shaping it now the way I want it and then we'll do this other side so I'm thinking we're going to make a little hole in here and then um, put some eyes to peer through there so we'll just twist this again and pull this out And do again some glue. Hi, Aunt Maggie. How's your chat? Everybody's complaining about the chat tonight. So I kind of like that. Like that. So we'll do that and then we will twist this just a tad more. Like that. So now what I'm going to do is I need some, I need my fabric glue. I'll use this three in one. So I'm going to do the tree like this and then we'll probably put him or her right in here. Then I want to add some little pumpkins down in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put where I want my tree trunk to be. So I just have two lines just going down and then you're just going to mold your tree however you want it so I'm going to stick it like this and then just keep following it around and then we're going to add this here like that and we'll color that too again then I'm going to add this piece right next to here and line this up around whoops and I want this to have this little opening but I want the trunk and stuff to be together so here's where we're going to put our little eyes up in there need more coffee John is going for more coffee and then we're going to put this trunk heading over this way so I want to close this up a little like that and then put this one close together here So we'll still have our little open area right in there. We can stick our little eyes in there. And then now I'm just going to take the rest of this and just make some more branches to come further out. So I'm going to get rid of this white. So just do like a little angle piece like this. And then you want to just tuck these in. like that and glue this part in like that so then again we're just going to twist it put some glue on the edge there twist this so I'm going to add this take that white piece off And then just twist it really small to the branch part. And then add some more glue here. 
<laughs> oh, thanks, Tar. <laughs> And then I'm going to take Tim's wood grain stencil. I forgot I wanted to do that. We'll have to do that too. We'll do it on there. I want to get this just a little more wonky like. So I'm thinking we're going to get maybe a little owl or something to sit right up in here. So, and then I wanted to put some, let me do that before I go any further. I wanted to get some um, wood grain on here. If I had, uh, my box was supposed to come, it didn't come today. Um, I really wanted that wood grain paper that scrap a dove -Doo has. And then we would have added that on here. But um, I'm just going to add some wood grain um, on here. Let's see. And we could do the spider webs too. But I'm going to use a wood grain one. Where is it? Uh, let's see. Don't I have it here? There it is. Number 23. You love owls? Yeah, so we're going to put a little owl up in here. So, let's check this out. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some um, my texture paste and I'll just mix it with the gesso so that we'll have some black. And then when we spray this, I want to spray it so it'll get in between um, in between the lines. If I had my if I knew where my glow in the dark paint was, we would use that. But um, you could take your textured paste and pour a little bit of the glow in the dark. That's what I did with Dawn's canvas last year. And you could put that on and then it would, you know, glow in the dark. It's really cool. Spider webs. Yes, I want to put some spider webs on here too. We might do that with the glue gun. So we'll see. See what happens. All right, so I want to get a little, some wood on here. And I want to get my spatula. So let's move this out of the way. Oh, I need to add some water on this. It smells so good. It's like the baby powder. Oh, I love it. Alright, so that should be good. So let's do that and we'll add some black to it. Well, we'll just leave it white maybe. And then when we spray it, it'll be... Let's just leave it white and when we spray it, we'll see what happens. Probably took too much out, but I'll just put it back in. But that's a nice thing with the home paste. You can make it as thick as you want. And I like it smoother like. Yes, I sent you glow in the... Did I send you glow in the dark paint last year with your canvas? Yeah, you've got to dig that out, Dawn. Alright, I'm going to move this. Just... No, I can't move it now. So we'll just try to go under it. in there and girls in yell at me. <laughs> I 
how to make make my own paste it's actually <clears throat> Gabrielle's um if you know Gabrielle from Bow Bunny she came up with the measurement and I have it on my blog I want to say it's the November November last year is it November I have to look for it um, but you can go to her blog and she has it right over on the side and it's really it smells so good I love the um, baby powder smell so there we go can you see there and then we'll just lift that up Let's see how nice that looks and then when we color it'll look even better so then I'm gonna go this way and add a little bit down here oh you can't see I have so much stuff on this desk I'll have to turn it around so you can see that way and we don't have to get it like precise because we're going to be covering up the side anyway so see there it goes I'm not going to put any at the bottom because we're going to cover that up so let's put some at the top I should have done this before I um I put the tree branch there but And then I'm going to put just a little bit on the side here, if I can get in there. Maybe not. I'll just put... Um, let's see if I can... I don't want to mess up our tree, so I'm going to just scoot it in here. Well, I'm not going to be able to get it. I don't want to mess up my tree. Let's see if I have another piece of paper. It's just to give it some texture. Isn't that pretty? So there we go. So I'm going to wipe this off. I'm going to have to dry that. So I'll put this back. It looks nice, doesn't it? When we dry it, it'll, it'll be really nice. And then we're going to spray it. I'm going to get my Prima sprays out then. My baby wipes. took so long to get in the chat I can't get over it so we definitely will finish this next week and then I will hopefully have the um, Halloween mini to show you too next week ah. let's go stick this in some water oh it smells so good <laughs> It's almost <laughs> Libra Zandra time. Zebra Zandra time. What is that, Dar? Hi, Gay. <laughs> All 
All right. So let's dry it and then we'll spray it. I think I'm going to use my Prima. Either I'll use a vintage coal or we'll see what we have. The green's pretty nice too though. So let's see. So let's dry that. Let's add our other branches and then we'll spray it. So let's see what do I have left here. And you can tell with part of your paper towel has like shiny and some of it is like not shiny. So, so I just twist little pieces off now. Where's my glue stick? Let's stick this back on. And then we'll do one more coming off that other edge. So I'm just going to take a piece of this. And again, just tear like a diagonal piece, triangle piece. And then just roll this up. It's really pretty, the sparkle in here. I think that's from um, the Tattered Angel spray. Because the color wash doesn't have any spray, uh, spray in there. All right. So I'm going to add this tree trunk here like this. And I'm going to have this one come off edge here it's so weird too the chat doesn't have any um, like time so I can't see like if the chat's stuck do you guys have time on yours I don't see any time to get kind of over like this and off the edge there. <clears throat> yes, Gabrielle's blog is such a pretty mess and um, her baby powder you just have to, um, it's called homemade check texture paste and it's on there. Yeah, no time, I know. So it's like if the chat's frozen or something, I would never know. So it's weird. The whole thing is weird tonight, isn't it? All right, so we want to keep that. Remember our hole in here because we're going to have some peeking eyes come through there. Um, let me see. Where's my paper? If I was doing this for me, I'd put these little witches' feet out of a cauldron. <laughs> Aren't they cute? So let's see <coughs> you guys have any questions about the paper towel it's just really just twisting it and putting it in any kind of shape that you want the 
feet are cute, aren't they? I'm going to add some of those feet in our mini next week. This is okay. Water. I'll try to have some of the mini in the inside done early, too, so that we can get this moving on. Alright, so I want to see <clears throat> what else I have here. I'm looking for looking for my enamel dots so that I could put some eyes in the middle. Here we go. Although I don't want to put the eyes in yet, we better spray it first because I want the eyes to stay white. So let's spray it. And I um, think I'm going to go with, oh, you know what? I want to put some more. You can't see it down there. I want to put some more on the trunk to make this trunk a little bit bigger. So take this dark piece. I want a dark piece for the trunk part. And what I want to do is I just want to extend this a little bit more. And get rid of some of that white that we have on there. I like to use it for um, palm trees too. This is a really away from palm trees. Just twist that up. So I'm going to have a little bit more now. And then we'll probably put some moss or something like that there, down there. Maybe a cauldron, we'll see. So let me get my spray. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're itching to play? Me too, Dar. When are we going to get together again? We'll have to email. Are you, I think you, are you going to your brother's again? I can't remember. All right, let's see what, what spray we're going to use. I have, um, let's see, I don't want the copper, a vintage coal, vintage coal, let's try that one. This has a nice greenish effect to it. So this is the one I'm going to use, vintage coal. Never seen paper towels? I love to use it. I use it for my um, beach layouts to make a palm tree. I love it for Halloween to make a spooky tree. I used it one time on a layout. Well, let me get I think I know exactly where it is. I'll have to show it to you real quick. With a graphic 45, it's like a family tree. Hold on one second. Like a maze in here. <laughs> oh, I'll get my... I got it. That one I knew where it was right away. This is with um, Graphic 45's paper. I still didn't put a picture in here here because I haven't decided what picture I want. I forgot to glue my little bird's nest down there. Let's see the tree here. It's like a family tree. So the tree comes up and then I put little green um, leaves. And October you go to parade pink, pink, pink. Oh, that's good. And then see how the tree trunk at the bottom here behind the um, the fence so it just makes a really um, 
I love it for trees. I just think it's really spooky. And see here, I, I um, twisted the vines a little. I mean, the trunk part a little bit. The branches, I mean. I can't talk tonight. Um, a little bit tighter. So it all how you know, how effect that you want. If you want it to be really, like, old and stuff like that, you just twist it. Thank you, Cindy. Ella, thank you. Yeah, it's really pretty. I like this layout a lot. I just have to find a, a nice picture that I want to put in there yet. But, um, yeah, I, I use it all the time. And, and it's not um, bulky. Like these ones, papers that I rolled up is a lot higher than these paper towels. So, see, it's very flat. I don't know if I could show you how. See, it's flat. It's not really, you know, big. So, oh, thank you, Gay. So, so it's um, other ways that you can use a tree, not just for Halloween or for a palm tree. Okay. So now what was I getting? Oh, yeah, the spray. So we're going to spray it with this. Vintage Cold. It has like a, a black-green tint to it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really nice. The only thing, uh, I want to make sure I don't have any white coming around so I can get rid of that. Um, and then I, if I had some white seam binding, I would, I don't know where my seam binding is. Oh, here. We'll pick up the rest of it. I, I did this one a while back with the black, so we'll pick up the rest of it with this. Oh, yeah, try it. It's not hard at all. And like I said, I try to use my sprays like this was just color wash. And then if you want some glitter to it, then you use something with, you know, a little shine, tattered angels, whatever spray you want to get rid of. That's the one I use. Okay, so let's just see how this works. Oh, I don't want to get rid of all my... I don't want to get rid of all my color. Let's just spray this down. Roll this one this way. Still kept some of the white, so we'll see if it gets black. So let's mop up the rest of this with the ribbon. Oh, you can be able to see that green in there. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Let me come down in here. I'll have to put it on autofocus so that you can see the green in there. It's really pretty. Where's my ribbon? I want to mop up some of this. Made my tree kind of dark, a lot darker than I, I really wanted. But, um, still has some of the color in there. I'm trying to move that green around. It's probably hard for you guys to see. But I'm trying to get it to come down a little. I'll put it on, once I dry it, I'll put it on autofocus so that you guys could see. Alright, let me put this um, here. Ah, I don't want that. And then I'm just going to mop this up with this. Get that other white part that's all white. Thanks. She, Mama says she gets a lot of ideas. That's good. So see now all that white spot that was um, there, it's all gone now. And it's got some green tint to it. It's just so hard for you to, to see it. 
and then we're going to clean this up and then I want to at least try well it's quarter of already darn that went fast didn't it we'll have to do is we'll have to do the girl um, and decorating it we'll see all right let me put this off to dry and then this, let's clean this up really quick and I always put these blue things back because I always wind up dropping them and this way you don't have to worry about the spray. So let's clean this up. And I'll dry that so you can see the green. The green in there is really pretty. And then we'll put our eyes in there. i clean my hands off. Oh, are you getting commercials? Are you getting more commercials than usual? Okay. Clean this off. I'm going to rub this off with my paper towel. So that's good for now and then I'll clean the rest of it um, tonight all right so we have our paper towels saved for later on if we want to put some more branches or something in there too many commercials tonight Ugh, that's terrible it's just terrible tonight isn't it Okay, so let's dry this, and I want to just spray a little bit more of this, um, not this one. I'm going to put some of this glimmer, the green back, the olive green, just because my tree is just so dark. Okay, let's dry that. Let me put you on autofocus and see if you can see the shine. Ah! What the heck happened? Oh no. Please don't do that. <laughs> what is going on? Where is it? Alright, hold on a second. Oh shoot! What is going on? I can't find my... There it is. Oh, why? It's like my cursor. I can't move it. Hold on a second. Oh, there it goes. Oh, my gosh. Now it's like really small. There we go. This chat is going to drive me crazy tonight. All right. Autofocus. And I'll bring in just a little closer. There we go. Ugh, my chat's moved up a little now. Where is it? There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, there. Can you see the green? Let's see if it. There you go. So, that's Supreme, a vintage coal. It has that really pretty green to it. You can see it right. Right there. Let's see. Right kind of there. Let's see on this side. You can see it better here. There you can see it right right here. Right there. You see the green? And then right there. 
right here. Let's see. There you go. That's a good shot of it right there, the green. <laughs> and then there's our tree. So you can see the green up in here. See it right there? Oops. Come on. Focus. There you go. So that's the Prima spray. And then these are all the different sprays from the tree. The, um, the color wash. Prima spray now and the Tattered Angel spray. It has a little glitter to it too. Mm -hmm. Alright. So we have that done. We have that done. I want, um, and this is starting to turn gray now. Remember how white it was? And now it's starting to take some of the color, which is nice. It looks really white to you, but it's really turning like grayish. So let's take it off of autofocus. So now, um, for me, like if I'm if I do this for my nephew, I probably will cut a little hole in here and then probably set this little this little skeleton guy here with maybe some pumpkins all around. But we could do anything we want now with this. Um, I also have some flowers that I um, that remember I started to show them to you last week. Well, I got stickles around them now, and we could add some of those on there. I have some moss I want to put on the underneath the tree. So let me get that. How old's my nephew? He is going to be six. So we'll put some of this moss on there. I like some of this one that's kind of like bleached that we could hang from the top. And then I have some of this, um, I don't know, crinkly stuff. So I'll add some of that on. Just to give it an eerie effect. And if you don't have moss, I got this at the dollar store, believe it or not. And um, you could use your flower, um, flower soft, you know, whatever you, whatever you have. So I'm going to put some of this on here. I'm going to hang some of this moss off of the branches. I want like a really long piece. I'll put that in the corner there. You have two nephews, great nephews that are 8 and 11. This would be a great little book for them and look this would be pretty too if you didn't want to make it so Halloweenish and just do the tree and put fall leaves on there and just some pumpkins and a basket of apples and you'd be able to keep it up through you know through Thanksgiving so there's a lot of different things you could do with your tree it doesn't have to be just for Halloween all right so let's add that where's my glue I think this would be pretty for fall, and if you put some nice pumpkins and an apple tree, you can make it an apple tree, um, a fall tree with a little squirrel. Wouldn't that be cute with the little squirrel hanging out of there? Come on. Add some up on the top here, too. <laughs> Squirrel, yes, Danny. Wouldn't it be cute? I think for fall, it would be really cute. <laughs> I'm just going to put a little bit behind here. There we go. 
go. That's good. And then we'll hang some off of the the tree here. We'll leave room for our little owl. I'll put some over in this corner here. You worked on the elf albums today? Oh, and she's almost finished. Oh, you'll have to make sure you send me pictures. Ella has a little group of ladies that are working on them, the elf album. So there we go. I don't know if I'm going to put any of this on here. We'll just leave it like that for now. Ugh, I get a big glob on here. How would I do the fall leaves? You could either punch them out um, or you could do them the same way like I did on this layout. You could do it out of the paper towels. Do you see how I did? I just sprayed green. I took a paper towel and sprayed everything green and then just cut, you know, like leaf shapes. Or you could do it fall, do the orange and brown. And you can just do fall leaves coming out of there. So, oh, and if you guys have acorns, um, you should start collecting them now. I like to pop the tops off of them, and I usually use them at Christmas time. I put jingle bells inside the um, top of the acorn. Um, it's really cute to put on tags and stuff. So I have to do that myself. I have to go and collect a couple. So I think we'll just stop here, because then I'll show you guys the train again. But it's coming along pretty cute. And then... Um, now you could just decorate it, you know, however you want now. So, like, you could put this skeleton here with um, these little pumpkins. We're going to do the witch, though, from the Julie Nutting a little doll. So, I have, like, these little Julie witches, I mean, witches, um, pumpkins. So, you could put that in there like that. Also, I have, where's my Frankenstein? Where'd he go? I can cut him off, and I could put him here in the corner with a little trick-or-treat bag. So, you have too many squirrels. You can never find acorns. I'll have to send you some, Jana. Um, so, pretty much now, oh, we have to glue this back. Oh, we got to put our eyes. Let's put our eyes in, and then I'll show you the train, and then we will we'll finish doing this part and then doing the mini. So, where are my little... So, what I want to do is get these little eyes peering out from under the, the tree. So, we want to get... These two should be good. And I need my glossy accents. Um, I think I'll have to do one for fall just because I think it would be cool for fall. Just make sure my tree is all tucked in there. Like that. So let's put our little eyes. I want to really get this like peeking through here. I'm going to put two little dots. One there. And one there. I should have my, I wish I had my tweezers up here. Well, let's try this. Maybe I could do it with this. one in there and if we have to go back to put more paper towel we will and one in here and I will I'll put like a little paper towel to finish that little and then we need to put little dots in there for the eyes So I want to get my black marker. Well, this is not going to work. Let me see what else I have here that I could use. I really need like a black, um, what do you call it? A black Sharpie is what I really need. Um, let me see if this will work. 
I really need a black Sharpie, which I don't have up here that I could see offhand. So let's see if this will work. Then I'll go back over it. There we go. <laughs> oh, with the black paint. That's true. I could do that. Let's see. I have my little... Oh, that's true. I could use two smaller ones, too. Oh, the two small ones here. How about if we tried that? Let's see what that looks like. Ah! You know what? I'll have to put glossy accents on it. It won't stick now with that little ink that I did. Can I, I don't want to smear it, so let's just do it with the glossy accents. Might have to put a little frog down in there, too, so we'll see. Jenny, you leaving? You're not feeling good? Aw, I hope you feel better. We're almost done. I'm just going to finish this, and then I'll show you the train one more time. There. That looks cute, right? <laughs> so see? With the little googly eyes. And then I'll add some more tissue paper in there just to, um, to do it. All right, so let me um, just clean this up, and then I'll show you the train one more time. You guys have any other questions while I'm cleaning up? Oh, my flowers. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jonna. All right. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Alright. So remember, this is going to be the spout for the train. And then this is the train. The top will come off and there'll be a tags to hold tags mini in there. But there's the train. Oh, I think I need to move you out. Let me move you out a little. Bye, Jenny. Thanks. Uh, let's move you out. There we go. So, again, it'll go like this. The spout will go in here like this. And then I'll stick some smoke or wire coming through there like that. And this bends down like this. Thanks, Jana. So it goes like that. So then I still want to put some flower, a flower here. I'll decorate the, um, the wheels. Put a little conductor in here. Then this will lift out. I have to figure that out still. And there'll be a mini that'll hold tags. Three by, I think it's three by six I could get in here. Or three by five something like that so and then again this was just done with um water bottle which i took was i cut this water bottle right here and then i just wrapped it in the paper and then like i said if you used any other water bottle that has like the dent in it what does it do with that bottle you could change it you know you could change the shape of it so and then it'll have two other minis. There'll be two other cars behind it. Just like the um, photographer mini that I did last month. It'll be like that. So, that's... I still have to decorate the top of this and still finish it. But that's our project after we do the Christmas tree. So, any other questions? I really like the way it came out. I love the, um, the train. 
I think it came out really cute. And you could decorate this. Like I said, for my nephew, I'm doing a Christmas one. So this will be black. And then the um, the other cars behind it will have be like plaid or something else boyish. But he loves choo-choo trains. So that's what I'm going to do. So it'll have a tag mini. And then I'll have two other minis that go with it. And then this is the front. Let me see the front of it there. And I want this to slant out more. When I do his, let me see if I can move this over. So I tried to get this to slant out. See, it's just a little bit of a slant, but I want it to come like really out. So I'm going to slant it a lot more. But thank you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, it's really cute. I like the idea. Like I said, this will be Gabby's, um, when she was little, her birthday parties. I'm going to put in the mini albums, so... Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Judy. Yeah. I had to redo it. Oh, it's too bad. Let's see, we got off to a bad start. 20 minutes late tonight, so. So next week, we'll definitely we'll finish with the picture frame. I'll have a sample of the Halloween mini book. And, um, yeah, and then that's it. Then after the mini book, we'll start the, um, the Christmas tree. So. Any other questions? Oh, thank you, Bunny. All right, I'm going to say good night then. And um, hopefully you stream will be better to us. I definitely will be at Catherine's tomorrow night, not during the afternoon. I have some place to be in the afternoon. And then hopefully our girls are sick. Catherine, Kathy are sick. Ugh. So hopefully we'll get to see Kathy on Friday night. And then Jen, I don't know if Jen is streaming. Is Jen still here? I don't know. So, yeah. thank you, Barry. Thank you, Dawn. Thank you, guys. Thank you all for coming tonight and hanging in there for me. That was a long time to wait 20 minutes, so, but we finally made it, so. Oh, my pleasure, Aunt Maggie. <laughs> all right, have a good night. I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>